All right, hey, it's Space. Welcome to another YouTube video, playing some video games today. Today, of course, we're playing some NBA 2K20, playing some My Team, and today, oh, we're going 12-0. and 0. Nothing stopping us. Follow the series. Yeah, we've got a link to the entire playlist going 12-0 and 0 in the video description below. This should hopefully be our last video. We have the goal to pick up this Opal Jerry Lucas, along with an Opal James Worthy, and a few tokens and some MT. Now, the lineup, it's solid, and 8-0 and 0 with it at the moment. Here is a look at it. Uh, we'll price it out, and new content released today. Uh, so the pricing on cards, uh, we would estimate are at least 20 to 25% less expensive today. Uh, so yeah, today would be a good day to do some shopping if you're looking to improve your squad. Now Party Pete Squad, it's got Opal Dream on Green, a card today you can find for around 65 to 70k. I uh, get asked a lot in the comments section of our 12 and 0 videos. Uh, why Dream on Green? Why not campus legend Magic Johnson, since you locked in the set for Carl Anthony Towns? Uh, the simple answer is Draymond is just a bully, uh, defensively and on the boards. Now on paper, Magic Johnson, the better card. Animations though, Draymond is just more physical. Now Glitch T-Mac is the crown jewel of the team. Yeah, the priciest card on the squad. And today, seeing its price down, selling for around 750,000 MT. Uh, now the good news, the card got an EVO update this past week, which was cool to see. Uh, EVO goals are pretty easy compared to some cards, which can be ridiculous. Yeah, I gotta grab 100 boards, uh, score 200 points in the post. Upgrades gets three additional Hall of Fame badges, post spin technician, moving truck and chase down artist, and does get some small ratings boost. Gets Galaxy Opal rated 99 speed, speed with ball and acceleration, plus six strength is cool to a 95. But really, how do you improve an almost perfect card already? Now, Paul Silas, a budget card. And in the starting lineup, yeah, only 7,000 MT in auction. And we also get why not Opal Campus legend Carmelo Anthony. Our answer to that, only one basketball. And lean heavy on T Mac to do the bulk of the scoring. And honestly, it's better to have a lot of good defensive cards surrounding a player like Tracy McGrady. And Paul Silas, the perfect card that can do that and shoot and score inside when needed. Now in the front court and officially a buy now today, and that's buzzer beater Opal Blake Griffin. Yeah, 100K or less in auction. We still really like this card at the four. Has crazy athleticism and playmaking and an absolute beast in the paint on both offense and defense and a threat from outside the three-point arc. And then to get Carl Anthony Towns, uh, yeah, you do need to lock in the Campus Legends set, something we would not recommend doing. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, just for sentimental reasons. Uh, yeah, I've run this card past seasons. Uh, Pete had the chance to get Cat for a somewhat reasonable price earlier this season. So it just made sense to lock in the set. Now the price tag to lock it in. Uh, the two Opals, the most expensive cards in the set. Uh, they are less expensive today. Uh, Magic you can find for around 210 to 220. And Carmelo Anthony selling for around 160 to 180. We're looking at Pete's Bench. And a card that has lost some considerable value in auction. And that's thanks to the new Out of Position 2 set that was released earlier today. Because it features a pink diamond Giannis that you can run at the 2. Yeah, Giannis' Glitch Pink Diamond, which you can run at the point. Uh, this afternoon selling for around 210 to 220. The card was pretty consistently selling for around... Around 330 to 350. JR Smith, the fan favorite, selling for around 160 to 180 today. Always recommend giving this card a look. If you're looking for that impact player on offense, JR Smith is incredible. Also a solid defense. And this card too got an Evo upgrade. JR Smith turns into an unofficial GOAT edition card. Uh, the work required to evolve it definitely will take some effort. 100 steals, 100 assists, 50 blocks, and 100 rebounds. Uh, definitely worth the effort though. Gets uh, a lot of defensive upgrades. Lateral quickness, steal, and defensive consistency all upgraded to that perfect galaxy opal rated 99 jr gets plus 11 strength to a 93 so the card will be able to get physical on both offense and defense now badges gets an additional nine hall of fame badges and three additional gold badges which ben wallace at the three off the bench uh this is the one card in pete's lineup that has actually gained some additional value uh before i could find it uh easy for around 30,000 mt uh, the card now starts at around 60,000 mt uh why because they turned this card into an evolution card where if you knock out the requirements it'll turn it into a galaxy opal now the requirements will definitely take some work. 300 dunks, 300 three-pointers, 125 blocks, 100 assists, and 25 double-doubles. Yeah, and today seeing the Evo Opal Ben Wallace selling for over 400,000 MT. Got to remember, it's the journey, not the destination, but definitely worth getting there though. Insane ratings boost. Uh, most notably, Ben gets a 96 open shot three, plus 15 mid to a 95. Rebounding both offensive and defensive, both go to a 98. Gets a 98 steal, perimeter defense, and interior defense. Added badges, gets 18 new Hall of Fame badges added to the card and nine new gold badges. Yeah, we called out liking this card a lot as a pink diamond. Evolved into an opal, this card has game breaking potential. Now, Bull Bull is a card you can find in auction uh, for buy now, finally for 95 to 100K. And this card has been great for us in triple threat online. In Unlimited, we have found that it can get pushed around a little, but the card has definitely had its moments. Uh, speaking of big moments, Eddie Curry has been fantastic. In auction today, you can find it for around 35 to 40,000 MT. 99 strength and a 
totally unique player build that really has everything. Size, strength, playmaking, athleticism, and scoring, both inside and from outside the three-point arc. And then take over Jason Kidd at the very end of the bench and another quality role player. Now his price hasn't moved much today, holding steady at around 40,000 MT. And just to give you some reference, cheapest buy now is up today on Opal's uh, start at around 30,000 MT. So to the games and rocking out these final four and would get a wide range of opponents from an opponent who already has Opal Jerry Lucas, Glenn Rice, and Rudy Gay, and the perfect team name too, Venmo for win, uh, to the ultimate cupcake lineup that featured two of the worst possible defensive cards, and that's Opal Trey Young and Pink Diamond Mamba De Kobe. That just felt wrong, 50 piece in this guy. Uh, he decided to finally throw in the towel midway through the third quarter, and that dub would move Party Pete to 10 wins, and then just two games away from Opal Jerry Lucas. Now his next opponent definitely had an improved lineup. Uh, he locked in the out of position set with LeBron James, a 1.5 million MT card to unlock out of position Thon Maker. Uh, now that's a card you can run at the point, our opponent choosing to run Thon at the three. And he's running campus legend Magic Johnson and all-star flash Opal Michael Jordan, a solid backcourt. Uh, he's got Evoed Opal Aaron Gordon at the four and Bull Bull at the five. Now this game two was a route, not quite as bad as the previous game. Giannis here on the attack would get the fall, yeah, the and one, and then the pause from his opponent and then the rage quit. I'd be mad too getting 20 piece, especially with that lineup. So now 11 and 0 and just one game away from collecting the player of the month reward and that Opal James Worthy. Let's take a look at Pete's final opponent and it's a lineup glitcher. Well, you're not really lineup glitching. You're just running a starting God squad. Uh, here with Ben Simmons, Paul George, Michael Porter Jr., glitched Giannis and Kristaps, and then probably just running an all bronze bench. But let's price out a starting five just to satisfy curiosity. Now Opal Ben Simmons uh, fully evolved, sells for around 350 to 350. 75. Prime Series 3 Paul George. Card selling for around 400 to 425. Michael Porter Jr., the fan fave, you can pick up for around 130 to 150. And Glitch Giannis, we looked at earlier in the vid. Price considerably lower today. Uh, then Prime Series Kristaps. Uh, the card is a buy now and hanging at around 90,000 MT. And then, yeah, as we look at his bench, it's a full bronze bench that will never see the court. Now, how does he manage to pull this off? Uh, it's pretty easy. There's really no major penalty for players running low on stamina. And you can manage your player's stamina by strategically using your time timeouts, something our opponent was more than prepared to do, uh, using multiple timeouts consecutively to give his players a breather and stamina boost. Uh, so we'll jump ahead to the fourth quarter and party Pete with just a four-point lead. Here it's Pink Diamond Paul Silas with Michael Porter Jr. defending, drives left, and the strong right-handed finish. Yeah, the drive lighting up Silas's Hall of Fame quick first step. And here T-Mac doing what he does best, and that's getting to the rack. Here with a little help from Carl Anthony Towns, the screen would be all he'd need to part the lane. Yeah, and T-Mac goes in for the easy jam. He's got 19 for the game. And yeah, big surprise, another timeout from our opponent. Your Pete making plays on defense. Paul Silas, the strip. Yeah, getting Ben Simmons to turn the ball over. And turnovers, almost always the difference. Every game in Unlimited. Here in the half court set, an opponent off balling with Michael Porter Jr. So the quick pass to his defensive assignment. And that's Paul Silas knocking down the open mid, giving Pete a six point lead. But now just a minute and a half left to play and just a four point game. The quick pass to Giannis cutting in the paint would draw the contact. Yeah, get the foul, but miss the layup. On real life, Giannis not the best from the free throw line, but this is my team. And the pink diamond glitched Giannis. Clutch would knock down both free throws and make it just a two-point game. We were just talking about turnovers. Party Pete would make a mistake here on the attack with Tracy McGrady. Yeah, the bump would make T-Mac lose the ball. Giannis would scoop it up and then take it straight to the basket. Yeah, to tie the game at 52. T-Mac, though, would redeem himself. Here, a second attempt driving left. Chris stops late with the help. Yeah, would get the layup to drop and then reclaim the lead. And now with under a minute left. And Paul Silas comes up big with another steal. And then side out of bounds and a two-point lead. Pass the ball in to Opal buzzer beater Blake Griffin. Driving baseline attack would get the and one over Pink Diamond Giannis, an absolutely huge play, and move the lead to five. And that would be the difference. Yeah, Party Pete gets the win, takes down the lineup glitcher, and moves officially to 12-0, so the series complete. An absolute sweat fest. Claiming Opal James Worthy, 20 tokens, and 8,000 MT, and the ultimate reward card. And Opal Jerry Lucas, yeah, 6'9", power forward, small forward, was it worth the sweat? Now in real life, Jerry Lucas, a college legend, played his basketball at Ohio State, where there he won a college national championship in 1960 and three straight NCAA finals and remains today the only three-time Big Ten Player of the Year and was twice named NCAA Player of the Year. So he's kind of a big deal. Now, NBA career won Rookie of the Year in 1964 and was named All-NBA First Team three times and was a seven-time NBA All-Star. And Lucas, for his career, established himself as one of the most accurate shooters and top rebounders in league history. Now, absolutely love how 
2K incorporates historic players into the game, were they able to translate his greatness into a player card? Looking at the card's ratings and badges. Uh, 50 Hall of Fame badges, that's a good start. That's getting close to GOAT card territory. Uh, gave the card Hall of Fame range and quick draw and dimer, and of course, Hall of Fame hustle rebounder. Oh, and has Hall of Fame handles for days. Always a fun badge for Triple Threat Online. Now the card's ratings, uh, the big man has a 97 open shot three, 98 mid, inside scoring, 95 driving and standing dunk with a 90 vert, 97 strength is nice. Now no surprise, 99 offensive and defensive rebounding ratings. Uh, defensively, the card is quality with ratings in the low to mid 90s, no major concerns. And for athleticism and playmaking, uh, 94 speed and acceleration for the big man with 86 ball control, so the card can speed boost if needed. Now you want some gameplay with the card, we can definitely do that. Uh, we got some other vids for you in the works for this weekend. Absolutely more sniping videos. Oh, and we had some pack luck the other night. Shared that with you on Twitter. Uh, here's where you can find us on Twitter. I was bored and was ripping some singles with MT, something I know I do not recommend doing, but got crazy lucky. Yeah, pulled a GOAT edition Magic Johnson. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, so that's where we'll check out. Uh, leave a like. That'll definitely motivate us to get the vids posted sooner than later this weekend. Oh yeah, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Only the best quality My Team No Money Spent YouTube videos. For Party Pete, this is Space 12 and 0 complete. We're out.